we're going over a couple of post-operative things for breast segmentation. Um, one of the things that you'll find is that after your surgery, underneath your fold, where your incision is, you'll have Dermabond glue or Prineo, which has Dermabond um, tape on top of it. And so both of those are a medical grade super glue. You can take a shower 24 hours afterwards. So you'll be in an ACE wrap initially after surgery, you'll take a shower, and then this is how you can apply the ACE wrap back on immediately after surgery. So it's in a figure of eight pattern. So you start underneath one breast, and you go to the top of the other breast, you come around, and then you go on top of one breast, and then underneath the other breast. And so you keep on that pattern all the way around. And the one that I give you after surgery is much longer than this. You can go around, around, around like that, but just this figure of eight pattern. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the type of bra that we use after surgery. So initially we started using these types of bras, but these are very tight and compressive. They're also very expensive. So I did a lot of searching and I found the best post-operative bras are ones that have a thick understrap and button in the front, but kind of pull from the bottom up. So kind of give you more support this way than just cinching you in flat, which tends to push your implants over laterally and push them down. So these are the bras that we now use. And um, you can find these at Walmart or Target they zip in the front they have this nice little clasp that kind of helps you get them closed and then a lot of our patients will just zip them up halfway so this is also a size small and you can see how tiny this is so we tell our patients usually to size up one to two sizes in these particular bras so the next thing that we're going to talk about is implant massage so we start telling you to do this at about post-op day three to seven um, depending on your surgery and depending on your surgeon um, but what you do is if your implant is sitting on your chest here, you're going to take one hand, put it underneath, push it up to displace the implant up, hold it there for about 10 seconds, let it fall, then take your hand to the side, displace the implant towards the center to stretch out that capsule centrally, hold it for 10 seconds, and then let it go. We don't want you to displace the implant to the, to the lateral side here or to the outside or down because we don't want them to bottom out or lateralize. So just up and to the so That's just a, um, a very brief kind of post-operative um, description of our post-operative breast augmentation patients. So any of our patients that are thinking about having a breast augmentation or are having a breast augmentation and need a refresher, you now have these videos to kind of help you out.